What's going on everybody? GT23 here today and I'm back for a final Dragon Ball Z Blu-ray season review. Let's settle this Chakalama Super Saiyan 3 now. What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a review on Dragon Ball Z Season 9 Blu-ray, the last addition to the Blu-ray. And I must say man, I have a lot of words to say for this season review because this season is by far the best looking Dragon Ball Z out there. It looks like what I said came true after all and that is, every season that Funimation released for this Blu-ray set, the quality became much better compared to the previous season. If you guys thought that season 8 Dragon Ball Z Blu-ray looks good, then my friend, if you see season 9, wow man, the quality for this season looks so amazing that it does not look like an anime that was made in 1990. They really made this look amazing. But before I get to the quality and stuff, let's talk about the audio and everything inside this season set and then we'll go on to the comparison and whatnot. So guys, like what I was saying, the audio. Just like all the other season release, this audio is the same audio, Dolby HD 5.0 with Bruce Faulkner and normal English dub with the Japanese background music and Dolby HD 2.0 it is the with Bruce Faulkner and Dolby HD 5.0 is Japanese. Now the quality for this audio really improved compared to season 8. They actually increased it finally a bit more louder. I think every season they keep increasing louder, 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 louder. I wish they made it just one simple pace. I don't know why they keep increasing it louder. But at least the surround system made it look even much better compared to season 8. The surround system here was just amazing. Each fight I saw inside this Blu-ray was just an amazing surround system. Especially if you're watching a fight with Ultimate Gohan vs Super Buu or if you watch the fight with Super Saiyan 3 Goku vs Kid Buu and not to mention with Jito vs Super Buu. I was very anxious to see those scenes inside this Blu-ray quality see how it looks. And when I saw it, wow guys, I was very impressed. Funimation really did a phenomenal job to this set and they even fixed a huge cropping part inside the set which I'll show you inside the comparison. The quality inside this Blu-ray set beats any Dragon Ball Z quality that has ever been released by Funimation. No Dragon Ball Z quality could match up to this season's quality because this season 9 quality was by far the best looking Dragon Ball Z out there and I'm very impressed with how they did it. Watching this in this season with this quality made me just realize that every time I do a rewatch Dragon Ball Z I'm gonna only do it with my Blu-ray seasons. That's it. I'm not going to watch with my Dragon Box or <laughs> definitely not with the Orange Bricks or not, nothing else. Just the Blu-ray because the quality really is amazing and not to mention the surround system with the audio made it sound amazing. And also guys, it's HD. This is, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, before watching this season, I was planning not to do any more reviews of the Blu-rays but this season really just made me want to go and do a review and a lot of people kept messaging me to do a review and comparison for this season and I believe it's they deserve to know how good this quality looks compared to other Dragon Ball Z release because this season 9 Blu-ray quality really, really kicked it up a notch compared to the other seasons. The color was phenomenal. They got the color exactly how it's supposed to be. It was not oversaturated like the orange bricks, but a lot of people had a problem that the orange bricks set was oversaturated. Goku Super Saiyan hair was like golden yellow and it was like this very golden yellow. It was very oversaturated and a lot of people had a problem with the color, but this color was the actual legit color they used. They actually did not do any fingering with the colors. They kept it the way how it's supposed to be and they made it look amazing. And a lot of people said that the previous set had were too sharpened but this set was not too sharpened. This set was exactly sharpened as it's supposed to be to make it look good. If anything I think it made it look even more beautiful because they added very little bit grain inside this set just to make it look more good. But I must say watching this fight the Super Saiyan 3 Goku vs Kid Buu with this quality really was an epic showdown. When Funimation first released the Dragon Ball Z Season 1 Blu-ray, they made the quality over there look phenomenal. Then when they did Season 2, they fixed it up compared to the Orange Bricks. It looks way better than the Orange Bricks Season 2. But Season 3, they kind of messed up with the color. They made it a bit too pink. They did a Dragon Box style making the color a bit too pink. But Season 4, they fixed it up but they made it a little bit too bright. Not a big bright, like you'd be like, oh it's too bright. But just compared to the Blu-ray sets, yeah it's kind of bright. But for Season 5, they made it a little bit too sharpened. Season 6, they made it perfect, it was okay. Season 7, 
they fixed it up and they made the color and everything look much better. And in season eight, they fixed up all that audio mistake, everything. And season nine, they fixed up everything. All the problems that was like season one, two, and eight, they fixed that and they set it out inside this Blu-ray release. I must say, I'm really surprised with how fun they did this, and I'm really happy with this release. And now, guys, let's get to the comparison so you know yourself how it, the comparison looks with Orange Bricks. Alright guys, so I got 5 comparisons I'm going to show you inside this Blu-ray set with the Orange Bricks and two com 3 comparisons going to do with the quality, one comparison is going to do with the cropping and the other comparison is going to do with the color. So let's start off with the quality comparison. As you can see right here, we have an Orange Bricks version of Kid Buu standing right there staring at Goku while he's trying to attack Goku with his beam attack. And that's Kid Buu right here, this is the Orange Bricks right here. And now that's how the quality looks, it looks fine actually, but if you compare it to the Blu-ray, it looks bad compared to the Blu-rays. Here is the Blu-rays, guys. As you can see right there, Kid Blue looks so much better inside the Blu-ray to me. And the color looks a bit more amazing. And I really like how the way how the Blu-ray looks. Here is the orange bricks and the Blu-rays. Orange bricks and the Blu-rays. And now here is the next comparison shot we got right here of the orange bricks. We have Goku putting his thumbs up telling people that it's over and this is how the quality looks it doesn't look bad again but if you compare it to the blu-ray <laughs> the blu-ray looks much better here is the blu-ray guys as you can see right here another difference the blu-ray looks so much better Goku's skin looks much better the tone and his quality face of the hair and everything looks way better compared to blue orange bricks where it looks like they just rushed it out here's the orange bricks and then here's the blu-rays here's the orange bricks and the blu -rays. Here the next shot we got here of the comparison where we see Goku surprised that Kid Buu knocked the spare ball and threw right back at him. And this is how the orange bricks looks right here. Again, it does not look bad. I kind of think it looks nice. But if you compare it to the Blu-rays, then you realize that the orange bricks wasn't a rushed product. It does not look good compared to the Blu-rays. This is how the Blu-ray looks. See right here, another huge difference. I love the way how the Blu-ray looks. Goku's shirt is more blue inside the blu-ray compared to the orange brick where it's like a dark blue but this one looks like a moorish midnight blue and we see that green grass it looks much better light green compared to the orange bricks where it's oversaturated here we got the orange bricks again as you can see what i'm talking about see it's oversaturated and goku's skin tone looks a bit more saturated i like the way how the blu-ray skin tone looks here's the blu-ray and the orange bricks blu-ray and the orange bricks and the blu-rays now guys, this is going to be a quality and cropping comparison. This is how the cropping looked inside the orange bricks right here where Goku's turned to a Super Saiyan and he was about to throw the rear spare bomb back to Kid Buu. And as you can see right here, you can see the mistake of the cropping. Goku's face, his eyes is cut, cut out. They cropped the eyes out and you can't see what's happening. It just looks been cut out. And look at the quality too. And now here is how the Blu-ray looks. Did they cut it out? No. Here is Goku's eyes inside the Blu-ray. Yeah, as you can see right there, the cropping remained right there. It did not have been cropped out compared to the orange bricks, where it just you have the missing eye. Here's the orange bricks and the blue rays. Orange bricks and the blue rays. Now here is the last comparison of the season 9 Blu-ray comparison shot. And here we got Super Saiyan 3 Goku when Goku's having a flashback of how he first met Boo. And we see Super Saiyan 3 Goku right here. Now to you guys, it might look good. But if you see the, how the Blu-ray looks, then you realize that this has been oversaturated. Look at the color. This is the color comparison. Here is Super Saiyan 3 right here in the orange bricks. And now here is Super Saiyan 3 inside the Blu-rays. As you can see, this is supposed to be Goku's original hair color, what you see right here. That's, and that's why Funimation went with this type of hair color. They did not oversaturate it. They kept the color exactly the way how it's supposed to be when it was originally broadcast. Here is the orange bricks again. As you can see, it's been oversaturated. The sky looks a bit too blue. And here's a blue ray. Orange bricks and the blue ray. Orange bricks and the blue ray. Orange bricks and blue ray. So after seeing the comparison, I think you know what I meant by how much amazing Funimation improved this set. If you look at season 9 Orange Bricks, that's where I thought that the Orange Bricks looks really amazing. I used to tell people that, yo, if you're gonna buy Orange Bricks, make sure you watch it in season 8 and 9. That's like the best looking Dragon Ball Z out there. Funimation did really good remastering to that. But when this Blu-ray set been released, they made the Orange Brick look ugly. And I'm really surprised how amazing these looks compared to the Orange Bricks. Well guys, 
I guess this is it guys I want to thank all you guys who support me from doing this blu-ray release review and all you guys who kept pushing me to make good more videos about the comparison for each season I want to thank all you guys it's been a long run from season 1 to 9 we did a nice showdown to show you guys the comparison with the blu-ray and everything but now it's come to the end Funimation released the last final piece of Dragon Ball Z and this is the last piece of Dragon Ball Z Thank you to all you fans out there who supported me on making more of these comparison videos. And like I said guys, Funimation released this last set and I believe that will be the last Dragon Ball Z set we're going to see. We're not going to see no more Dragon Ball Z set. After this Blu-ray, Funimation realized that they're kind of milking the Dragon Ball Z franchise and they're going to stop with the Dragon Ball Z releases. Now their only main focus now is to make the new Dragon Ball Z movie dubbed and release that and to make, hopefully, Dragon Ball in Blu-ray. If that happens, that'll be one epic show that I can't wait for that. I'll really love for that to happen. Dragon Ball in Blu-ray and Dragon Ball GT in Blu-ray. I'll love both of them to be remastered with the same quality they use for this Dragon Ball Z to make it on Blu-ray set. That will look phenomenal and I'll be really excited just to see how it looks. I hope Funimation does end up making the Dragon Ball in Blu-ray release because I heard a rumor that if these Blu-ray sets sell well, these Dragon Ball Z season sets, Blu-ray, Funimation will use that money towards making Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball GT in a Blu-ray release set just like they did with this one. That's their goal. That's just a rumor I heard and let's see if this comes true. 2015 is going to start next month and that's when we'll find out more news about any Dragon Ball Z Blu-ray release. I do kind of hope that Funimation ends up releasing the rest TV special and that they did not dub yet. That is all for today guys. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this season Blu-ray and did you pick it up? If you did, tell me how you feel about the quality too. Thank you again for all you guys who supported me on making more of these Blu-ray comparison videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this last Blu-ray comparison video and if Funimation releases Dragon Ball in Blu-ray, be sure for GT23 to come back and do another comparison with the DVD, Blue Bricks and the Blu-ray. That was all today guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, please give me a like. I'll greatly appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe for more Dragon Ball Z detail as I'll be posting any detail for the new Dragon Ball Z movie, everything whatnot comes out for us. Be sure that this channel have it right away. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Goku T23. And until we meet again, have an insane day. Let's go! You see Kakarot? This is our fate, our battle! Amazing. How do you do it, Kakarot? Kakarot, I never knew you had so much power! Vegeta, do you see this? This is Super Saiyan 3. How can a Saiyan fight like that and at the same time be so gentle that he wouldn't hurt a fly? You're better than me, Kakarot. You are the best. I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth. I will defeat you! My name is Goku, and I'm from Earth. Don't blame me if I break you.